tried other options. I, I rarely see that as radicalism. Thank you very much for giving us a call. Let me get a caller from area code 678. You're on live with the Black Channel. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello? Okay, you're on live. Put the pipe down. What is your name? Where are you calling from? Bro, are you rude? What, what kind of pipe are you talking about? Listen. I'm talking about the I, pipe I, I your like mama you sold you. I'm talking about the pipe your daddy went, did five years in prison, gave to your mom, and now you Better smoking you on it. Boy. What kind of argument that they are bringing to mind? I'm talking about that pipe. That's the one I'm referring to. Bro, you sound like a faggot, bro. Listen, all this black people are trying to turn black people against each other. Have you not read the art of war? You can't turn your allies into your enemies. That's what I see you and Tariq doing, you know? And who are and who are our allies? Who are the allies we're turning into enemies? Who are those? A lot of these black people that you're downing. I mean, who are the black folk Jamaican. that we're downing? Who are our allies? Jamaican. You're talking about Jamaicans. You're talking about the 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 Asians, bro. We all went through our own struggles. Why? why no, why, why okay, no, no. Out? We we all didn't go through the same struggle because clearly we all didn't come mean, out the same way. They lynched y'all. They lynched us. They killed y'all. They killed us. We and we fight white supremacy, and when they come over here, they yeah, side with here, white you're supremacy. You're talking about these people that are killing y'all. You're talking about hosts that laugh at you. People laugh at you. That, that's not a that's not a war a cry for war. Okay, sir. If why are you why are you so if that's if that's a true statement, then why are you so triggered and offended to call me? Because I, I I've noticed that y'all all are making us to be enemies. Okay, but if folk talking we're about if folk enemies, talking bro, about somebody not is not enemies. that big of an issue, if your, folks black talking black about people black, are not that big of an issue, then why are, are you, sir? This is what you should be telling sir, black Americans. I'm okay, a, sir, you need to put the joint back in your mouth. I'm I'm, I'm going to put the joint back in your mouth for you for a moment since you won't be quiet. He's laced that joint with some formaldehyde. If folk talking about you is not so much of it, it shouldn't be something folks should be worried about. If that's if people talking like that is harmless, you wouldn't be calling me now. You wouldn't be doing that. The real issue is that you do understand that when you allow folks to get away with that, talk becomes action and action becomes this in, this exclusionary tribalistic attitude. That's what we've been dealing with all this time. Is it all Jamaicans? No, you got some hardcore Jamaican riders. I know some personally. Same thing in Nigeria. Sam Alarape is not my friend. Sam Alarape is my brother. But we acknowledge what the deficiency is. And we talk about white supremacy every week. We talk about the white supremacists every week. We, we bang on Joe Biden every week. Banged on Trump every week he was in office. What you're upset about is that we're not glossing over this internal treacherous behavior we've been seeing. So we're doing housekeeping and house cleaning on the inside. We're not just focusing on the outside. We're doing house cleaning on the inside. Have you ever used a broom before? You've been unmuted. Do you know how to use a broom? Bro, that's being disrespectful. Let me know if we know how to use broom. Okay, do you, okay so if, if, you, know, if you know how to use a broom, then you know you start cleaning up the inside of your house. You know that. Yeah, but, you're, but, you're, but you guys are making it about the allies. Sir, we don't, our allies know who they, our allies know who they are, sir. We're not going to leave our enemies unaddressed. Yeah, but that you, just, you need to stick, but in, in, in war, you stick at the enemies. You don't go at your allies and say, oh, your allies is this. No, no sir. Oh, yeah, yes, oh, yeah, but a person who's turned on, you. people who have turned on you are not your allies, and Clean it's the enemy your, on the you know inside who is the most you're dangerous. Not, listen, bro, let me talk for a second. You know what is wrong? What I see wrong with black Americans, they have no loyalty to each other. They don't want to help each other. You see, when we come here and we stick together, you guys have a problem with that is because you guys don't really practice that. Show me where show me where Jamaicans have show me where Jamaicans have stuck together in America and have prospered. Show me where that is. 
What do you mean? There's, there's you're better than, and you better not say, not saying, you better I'm, I'm not, not say Queens, you, you better I'm not say not, Queens, New I'm York. No, sir. Too. Name any I'm, place. Name any place where Jamaicans have come here and we work together. That's what you black American need to learn. Show me where Jamaicans have gotten together in this country and prospered. Show me. There's, there's countless places. No, there's sir, there's places not places any America. place. There is no place in America true. where Jamaicans have gotten together and have progressed beyond foundationals. Not a single one. We ne- we don't, we, it's not about, we're not trying to run a race. I don't see Jamaica trying to Okay, run so you, know, you don't have any places. you don't have anything to teach us. We're here to teach you. We're not making a beeline to Jamaica. Yeah, You're making what, a what beeline you here. What are you gonna teach us? To kill each other? What are you gonna teach us? What are you teaching us? What, what, to, 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 sir, we can't teach you to kill each other. Tell have you, have you seen Jamaica, sir? Tell your people to be unified. Stop being so angry at each other and hate their own black Sir, men. are you kidding and me? Jamaica, sir, Jamaica is where you learn to do time. that. What are you talking about? You can't even go out in Jamaica at night outside you of the tourist you areas. Clean your house. You say you want to clean house. Sir, you are gaslighting. Folks, now he's gaslighting. You literally can't go outside at night in Jamaica outside of the tourist areas. You can't go outside at night in the tourist areas in Jamaica. It's literally dangerous to do that. And I'm talking about for citizens. Citizens know you don't do that. Hell, they don't even investigate murders anymore unless it's tourists. You don't have anything to teach us except how to make things worse. You came here because you found organized people with a code of conduct. There is no, you can't go to Jamaica and get this like this. You have some on code people in Jamaica. Let's be very, very clear. You want to talk about treachery? Jamaica should be a damn paradise. Black folk in Jamaica should be like Indonesia and Singapore. Jamaica should be the Dubai of the Western Hemisphere. Jamaicans are so at war with each other, so divided and splintered to the fact that you can't even open a popsicle stand without somebody getting killed. Jamaica should be the richest place in the Western Hemisphere. It should be exactly like Dubai from stem to stern. Jamaica should be not a multi-billion, but a multi-trillion dollar enterprise. And you can't, they're still sitting over there bowing to the Queen of England. Jamaica is still part of the British Commonwealth. We got emancipation, we got desegregation, we got empowerment. Jamaicans are still claiming the King King Charles now as their monarch. And this jackalope is going to get on my phone while in his crack cocaine-induced haze with barbecue chicken dripping off his damn lips trying to tell me we got something to learn from him? Dude, I don't need to learn white ass kissing and butt dancing from you. Talking about the art of war. What part of the art of war is kissing Queen Elizabeth's ass? Which part of the strategy is that? You're over there killing each other in America. And then we check the last names on these people in Queens. We start checking for Caribbean names. And it's like, oh, wait a minute. Uh, Sir, if you're talking about the enemy, I think you need to focus on the enemy within. You start checking the names that show up on the news in New York, in the Bronx, Dominican, in Brooklyn, in Queens, Caribbean. So no, sir, we've been trying to teach you all how to get that together. We've been trying to teach you. You're not going to sit up here and push off your dysfunction on us and say, well, you know, the problem is what y'all doing, dude, you better turn on uh, New York ABC and see what's going on. Don't sit up here and think you're going to gaslight just because you think I'm from Louisiana. You think I don't know what the hell's going on up there. That's why the first thing I told you, tell me where Jamaicans are doing better than black folk in America. And you better not say Queens. 
You better not try to say Queens, New York. Do we way ahead of you? That old game that y'all used to play where you have these enclaves around America and you used to be able to bluff your way through a discussion and bluff your way through it? No, dude, we're fully informed and up to speed now. We know where they are everything. We know where they are everywhere from Florida to New York to Connecticut. We know what's going on. Chicago, Minnesota, Somalis. We know where y'all at now. So no, you're not going to gaslight us. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Somebody in the chat room trying to talk about damn me Flatbush. Jamaicans ain't running nothing in Flatbush. This is more of this damn gaslighting you trying to do. No, they don't. No, they don't. Flatbush is not some upper income neighborhood. And go check the damn property records. Jamaicans ain't running nothing there. Somebody trying to sit in the damn chat room and pretend and bluff your way. Flatbush Avenue. Just because you heard the name in a Chris Rock joke doesn't mean they ain't running nothing. Niggas love making up fantasy and figure somebody not from the city isn't gonna know. I ain't down in Jamaicans. My on code ones know that's exactly what the hell needs to be. My on code Jamaicans know I'm telling the damn truth. My on-code Jamaicans know the only way you're going to get anything done is with some on-code people. That's it. That's why they want to rock with us because they tired of taking L's. And they're sitting there in, there in New York City when they should be sitting in Nassau. And the young folks are sick of it. Every time you talk to somebody from Jamaica, they telling you about what their family owns as far as land back in Jamaica, but the land is worthless, except where the Asians and the white folk are investing. The cruise ships own entire acres of land down there in Jamaica. They got whole damn resorts. They own acres and acres and acres of land there. Meanwhile, the children are sitting up here working for the damn city in New York. So let me get this straight. Carnival and Norwegian making hundreds of millions and Disney making hundreds of millions of dollars off Jamaica. But the children and grandchildren of Jamaica been told to flee to Flatbush so you can make $20 an hour if you're lucky. And so you can put up some Instagram booty pictures with a Jamaican flag on your ass. You got females wearing Jamaican flags on their asses and meanwhile their birthright belongs to whites and Asians and everybody except them. Let me tell you something. You can't compare Queens, New York to Jamaica. You can't compare those two. Who in the hell in their right minds would sit up here and choose this concrete steel jungle over a paradise like Jamaica? What the hell you trying to prove? What the hell you trying to pull? Who the hell would choose Flatbush over Jamaica? One is a heaven on earth. I'm talking about white sand. Oh, I'm saying too damn much. Here in the U.S. where you got reclamation of the beach fronts. You can't compare the sand, that reclaimed sand in Florida and in and, and, and California and, and the Carolinas and New York. You can't compare those to Jamaica. There's a reason one charges a hell of a lot more than the other. That's supposed to be your damn birthright. And everybody is benefiting off of Jamaica except Jamaicans. They told you here, go to Queens. So the white folk told you come to Queens and the white folk went to Jamaica and called that a fair trade. And you sitting up here cheesing. Here, pass the joint mine. Man, if y'all don't burn down them damn marijuana trees and get to work reclaiming your birthright. 
if you gon' wear a Jamaican flag thong up your ass, you need to be standing on a beach that you own. That's what the hell I'm telling you. It is treacherous backstabbing behavior. You selling yourself out and then sitting up here, Jason shouldn't say nothing about it. In the words of Dr. John Henry Clark, I am saying it is time to get your house in order. Don't come up here telling us about what we need to do here. We put the game in you. Marcus Mosiah Garvey is a beneficiary of us, not Jamaica. That's the way it has always been. Jamaica has always learned empowerment at the feet of the foundation. Because some of these other folk may have fought for it, but we were actually able to hold it. And not just in one place either. We didn't just show you how to fight for it. We showed you how to hold it. So you damn right. If we're criticizing you, you need to shut up, soak up the game so you can get disciplined. Down there in Southern Florida, they've been um, sitting up here waiting for decades to go reclaim their birthright in Cuba. Anybody who's been to Southern Florida, there's two flags you're going to see. Puerto Rican flags, some Cuban flags are plenty. They're not trying to be Floridians, except to the extent that it benefits them. They want to be Cubans and they see themselves as temporarily displaced Cubans. They don't want Southern Florida. They're forced to be in Southern Florida as an incident of history. They want their birth rights and their birth right isn't Miami. Their birth right is Havana. So you watch The Godfather 2 and you see Hyman Roth and Don Corleone, Michael Corleone talking about dividing up Cuba and making the money from it. Don't you know that's a sore ass spot for the people who survived Fidel and, and, and the insurrection? That's a sore subject to them. Because they're like, you damn right, Cuba's a beautiful place and we can't return. We've been over here plotting ever since getting back. You talking about Brick L, they like, dude, don't you know? If you would actually let us do to Cuba what we want to do, we would shut Miami down. Y'all trying, we would shut Miami down. Cuba would be the spot. And they don't take offense when you say that. No, get your house in order. Call of Mary Code 904. You're on live with the Black Channel. What's your name? Where you calling from? He got scared and hung up. Let me try one more. Call Mary Code 443. You're on live with the Black Channel. What's your name? Where you calling from? <laughs> this Negro is driving for Postmates. Let me go ahead and wrap things up here. I done scared everybody the hell off. He's sitting in the car trying to... Drop off a delivery for Postmates. All right. Done with that. 